What's up guys, welcome back to, or welcome to the Northern MX channel. If you're new here, what we do here on this channel is take uh, old bikes like this, whether it be a two stroke or a four stroke, I break it down, rebuild it back up, get it track ready, and uh, usually I try and sell them, depending on how the market is, I might have to hang on to them a little while, but uh, that's what we do here. So if that kind of content interests you, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the notifications bell. Uh, in this build series, we're gonna be working on this 1996 YZ125 so uh, let's have a look at the bike and see what we're working with. So once again this is a 1996 YZ125 and this bike is in awful condition and uh, definitely reflected by the price like I said I only paid 600 bucks for it and I did it sight unseen just just I guess uh, took a bit of a risk just for a challenge. I seen the the bike in pictures and I knew it wasn't in very good shape so obviously it's going to need a ton of new stuff on it so I'm going to strip this bike right down and I'm probably going to strip the white paint off it probably powder coat it uh, another color uh, definitely start uh, replacing all the plastics try and refurbish the tank if I can it's all uh, really really faded and I, I did a little bit of scratching on the tank there's a uh, there's good blue plastic underneath it so that's uh little bit uh, hopeful about that but we'll see how it goes the engine is the uh, biggest thing of course it was just like the last build i did with the yzf 250 it's all going to depend on this if this is no good then i'm probably not going to continue the build but what i'm going to do uh, in this video is probably just tear everything right down get this out on the bench and then get this split apart just to see what I'm working with just to see if the top end's good the bottom end's good if I got a good power plant then I'll probably uh, continue the build so if the engine is still usable my short list of parts for sure is going to be just replacing the bars you know of course the grips the levers uh, probably going to rebuild the suspension as it's leaking on the front and uh do the frame and the subframe, see if I can do that a different color. Definitely refurbish the tank. This uh, air box uh, has seen better days. It's all stitched up with uh, zip ties, so I'm going to have to try and replace that if I can. Uh, there should be a cage in here to keep the uh, filter from collapsing, but that's gone, so I'm going to have to replace that. Um, you know, tires, uh, wheels, that's easy. Uh, if you know... Uh, if you watch this channel at all, you know these wheels are going to be uh, taken apart and uh, probably powder coat it and something something nice done with them. I'll uh, see what I can do here. I know there's there's a shortage of spokes out there, so and these spokes like I can't reuse these. These are junk. I already tried to take a couple and and see if I can turn them, and it's not happening. So I'm going to have to cut these out. If I can replace the spokes, then uh, I'll do something with the wheels and this silencer try and do something with that this is uh pretty much junk right now but if i can get a few more parts i'll uh try and do something with that i'm gonna have to blow the dents out of the pipe and uh paint it nice uh probably black just with some high heat paint and uh, see how that turns out but just little things like uh the covers i can strip that powder coat it and uh i'm hoping to take the pegs and try and put some modern pegs on it so i might have to do some uh, uh modification to the uh, peg mounts but other than that if the engine checks out okay that's the short list of it there's going to be more of course but uh, uh it'll be a pretty extensive build just because of the shape of the bike so that's the bike for this build series there guys uh, i definitely got my work cut out for me uh but tomorrow i'm gonna come out in the shop and uh start tearing into this all right guys it's the next day out in the shop here i got the bike fastened down to the lift now uh, it's ready to get torn down so let's get to it perfect Right, guys so i got all the plastics done now so uh, i'm probably gonna just work my way down i'm gonna start with the bars 
and then take all the cables off and everything just kind of let them hang for now and then move on to the subframe and then uh, probably go on to the wheels from there So I got it torn down this far. Uh, so far, so good on uh, getting everything out. Uh, it hasn't given me too many problems, but uh, like these here were really tight. I had to use a breaker bar to get those off. Uh, the front nut was really, really tight. I used a breaker bar on that, but other than that, uh, everything's coming pretty easy. So the only thing I'm uh, hoping I don't run into problems with is uh, this uh, axle here, the swing arm axle. Uh, that I'm a little bit worried about, but uh, I'll see when I pull it off. So I kind of got everything cleaned up a little bit here because it was getting a little messy on the bench. So I had to uh, bag and tag everything, get the bench all cleared out. And my next move, I think, is going to be to try and get the swing arm off. So I'm going to hang this caliper for the time being because I'm going to take this off after because I got a feeling I'm going to have uh, issues getting uh, these these bolts out. They usually uh, don't like to come out of there. You got to drill them out. So I'm going to see what I can do with that after I get the swing arm off. But first, I'm going to have to do the suspension and take some of the linkage off here so we'll uh we'll see how that goes i gotta get the that bolt out of there too All right, guys, I'm getting in a position where I can uh, hit this axle out now to get the swing arm off. But first, what I like to do is uh, these two engine mounts here. There's one here, and then there's one underneath right there. Uh, I like to slack those off, loosen them off, because then it gives your engine some wiggle room. Uh, sometimes these are so tight and everything's so sturdy, it kind of binds the axle in. So you want to loosen those off a little bit and then uh, let that engine move around a little bit. So I got the swing arm out now. Uh, that was definitely one of the uh, harder starting swing arm axles I've ever done. I had to hit it with a fair size hammer to get it moving. But once it started moving, it was good. So uh, that's a relief. So now I can move on to the, uh, the back brake uh, reservoir here and uh, try and get that out.
I got that rear brake master cylinder out there. Now, uh, as usual, always one of these bolts puts up a fight. I had to drill it out. This one came out no problem. Uh, and this one came out uh, with a fight there. I had to drill it all the way in and then give it a smack with a, with a punch and a hammer. So uh, usually that's how it works. You don't usually get those out clean. You got to drill. Uh, so get ready for getting some new bolts for that. Uh, so now all I have left is to get some of this linkage off. Uh, but first, I think what I'm going to do is uh, get the pipe off and uh, then drain the coolant, get the rads off, and then hopefully I'll be able to get that engine out. And then I'll deal with all this stuff after probably. So I'm pretty well ready to take the engine out here, guys. Uh, just a couple of little things I gotta do. I gotta disconnect this uh, little connector here. Maybe I'll just take all this off before I take the engine out. It won't take that long. And then I'll just take those engine mounts out and then I'll be able to remove the engine from the frame. guys there it is got it stripped all the way to the frame uh, there's only a couple little things to take off just uh this little piece for the pipe and a little bit of a little bit of linkage here this uh relay arm definitely needs new bearings so i'm probably gonna have to get a new uh bearing kit uh gonna have to take these rollers off probably get new rollers like i was saying trying to modify this to fit some uh more modern pegs there a little wider of pegs i like uh, a little wider pegs myself so these look like they're just a little bit th thinner than uh, what what a normal peg would be nowadays. So I'm going to try and uh, make those fit uh, a newer style peg. And of course, we've got the engine on the bench here. So now I'll start uh, trying to clean this up the best I can and uh, starting to tear this engine down and uh, see if this uh, bike is worth saving or not. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you want to see me tear that engine on the bench down, uh, I'm going to do that in the next video. So make sure if you're new to the channel and you want to follow this build, you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you like this video. It really helps the channel out. And as always, thanks a lot for watching.